All right, so, um, so yeah, we're in pre-trial conference, and um, you know, next thing I know, this guy has has already um, have a, a deal with the opposing party, and um, he he called me and uh, with the other attorney, and they're trying to like get me to agree to this agreement, and all of a sudden, I'm seeing that he had already made a deal that was completely counter to what we've talked about. And um, he's talking about, you know, uh, basically to basically overlook everything that was done to my child and to basically renegotiate our agreement. So at this point, I realized he was just a scam. So I fired him right in front of the court. You know, I just said, you're fired, you know. So the so the so the judge was like, well, if you fire him, are you going to take over the case right now? And at that point, you know, I didn't know what I was doing, and I said no, and she was like, well, you know, what are you gonna do? So I was like, all right, he can proceed. So right after that hearing, I, I um, as soon as I, I got home, um, some, you know, something told me to just to just go ahead and just fire him. So I, I actually sent him a letter firing him. And uh, when I fired him, he he actually was just getting ready to send me a bill for like literally like thirty thousand dollars. So of course I wasn't gonna pay that idiot. So um so we we ended up you know going back to court. I sent paperwork notice that you know I'm taking over the case. I filed a bunch of motions and the and the the family court judge, you know, she realized like, oh shit, this guy, you know, he's up to something. So she she dismissed my motion because she said, you know, that I um, basically I was signing a bunch of public laws and things like that. So she found a bunch of loopholes. So and that's how I ended up facing uh, the case. Ended up going to the circuit court judge on uh, de novo hearing. Uh, de novo is when um, you're appealing basically of uh, court commissioner's ruling. So I went in front of um, Thomas J. Walsh, and, and this is my the first time that I actually st um, started dealing with this guy. Um, so this is, you know, we're talking like towards the beginning of 2013. That's when I started dealing with Thomas J. Walsh. So, I'm going through, you know, the, the process, um, and, um, you know, at first, he was just kind of, like, reading me, you know, trying to see, you know, what I know and, and what I'm about, and um, when he, he realized that, you know, I didn't really know what I was doing, he immediately appointed a guardian lighter, you know, and, and you know when you know even though like i objected you know i never requested for it they they do that because um they need like another witness so they can so that so they're able to violate their right your right so they can use uh, like a state appointed a uh, neutral party that they could they could um sort of um compound you know um false allegations against you right but of course there was nothing, you know, I, I haven't done anything, you know, so they had to find something, you know. Um, the only thing that, you know, they, they just could do was just, you know, basically just say their opinions, right? He's gotta, just got to say, well, in my opinion, you know, it's the child's best interest would be with the mother, but, you know, without any proof, you know, nothing. So at that point, I realized, wow, these guys, you know, that's when I, that was my first taste of like, wow, these guys are really don't want a father in, in a child's life, you know. So, um, so, at, at, and, you know, I'm, I'm obviously skipping so many steps, but at, at some point, you know, when I realized, you know, how the law works and, you know, I realized, you know, the private side, my power, 
I got I got um, the judge's oath of office. <clears throat> and ever since I got the judge's oath of office, um, everything changed. So when I finally figure out how 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 to how it works and you know how to how to succeed and what to do, the judge he realized that he realized that because I've been sending him letters for like like five years straight so at some point you know he he's gonna know that i know you know and especially when i got his oath of office you know he realized that you know i had something against him so the right after i got his oath of office he would never like i'll, I'll file any kind of motion for like a hearing or something and he will never see me like he will never he will he only allows it to um, go to um a, he will allow me to go to a court commissioner and when I go to a court commissioner there's never going to be like a court reporter or anything so it's really like nothing really happened you know they're basically trying to trick me you know so at this point I, you know I'm filing all kinds of paperwork you know demanding to see a real judge you know I'm sending correspondence to the attorneys, to to the guardian litem. They they never they never ever respond to me. Like never. Like if I send them anything, they never respond. So they're obviously they're dishonorable, you know. So I remember in my final, the the final paperwork that I sent them. Um, somehow I ended up 